Yeah. And, you know... You might be a little playing. tired, but, I mean, shit, isn't it at least good wrestling? But at least you it? know, you, your ears could perk up a bit going, oh, well, SmackDown was kind of mad, but... Ooh, here but we're going to get some good wrestling, at least. Yeah. But you know? I just, I don't, I don't know what they have to do to impress you people. Uh, nothing, apparently. Um, yeah. NXT, yeah. Street Profits beat the Mighty, well done there. It was a little awkward at the end there, but it's fine. Yeah. It's a little slow. Uh, Undisputed Era talking smack. Like they do. Curry Saint crushed Aaliyah. Is Aaliyah heel now? I know. I don't, that was I weird. And I'm that. like, Aaliyah usually is that like, you know, come on guys, we can do it, right? And now it's like, bitch, get out my face. And I'm like, alright. Uh, Attitude fucking happened. Dream. Yeah. Uh, fanny pack and all. Yeah. EC3. They going back and forth. Crowd is into it. I mean, it's Dream and EC3. It's everything everybody wants all the time. And then Tyler Bate defeated Roger Strong in a Absolutely fantastic main event. Of course. Um, that take us to take over Brooklyn, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's official. Yes. I, uh, I don't think... Because I was looking at the roster for NXT, it is mm-hmm. now official. Mm-hmm. There will never be a bad NXT takeover. I mean, we've been saying that forever, so I don't think it's possible. Because like, uh, at the beginning, if sure. you go to those beginning ones, yeah. there's some matches that were like, ugh. Yeah, they were a little iffy. Um, now, you now, have such yeah. a strong roster where you're only going to have five matches. Yeah. And the roster is what it is, yeah. and they're always bringing in new talent, like mm-hmm. they did on Saturday. Mm-hmm. It's 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 impossible at this point. It's built to have in a bad show. It's built in not to fail. No. Yeah, they, is, the formula is there to yeah. like it, they can't fail. Yeah, it is basically it's to the point where it's like, yep, yeah, this is just happening. Um, every every show we put on is going to be great because every time that they. You know, Vince plucks somebody out of the show. They replace them with another indie darling that everybody loves. So, yeah. plus I think it's because there's only like four or five of them a year. That always helps. Uh, if there was like eight or nine or ten, maybe maybe there'd be some bad ones. Cause... I mean, law of averages would have to yeah. be. But the fact that yeah, like again, they keep it at four or five. It's kind of easy to not easy, but I mean, it's a lot easier to like think about guarantee. that. That's twenty twenty five matches you have to book for over the course of twelve yeah, months. Exactly, and they're all going to have mostly indie darlings in it. And you've got three months to build it. So, I hate to break it to you, but that's the easiest way you can build it. Yeah. Um. um so yeah. Opening contest, mm-hmm. tag team championships, the undisputed yes. era, defeating Mustache Mountain, like you would expect. In easily the best match out of the three matches that they've had in the oh, past certainly. couple months. Certainly. Um. It's one of those things where you're like, oh, mm-hmm. I know that the other matches are going to be good, if not but great. But they have oh. a lot to live up to already. I guarantee you, whoever was next, like when you're watching it, you're like, well, whoever's next, you're pissed off. Um, uh, Undisputed Era wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, no shenanigans. No, mm-hmm. no Bobby Fish. No, no Adam Cole. No, no nothing. Just they just beat them. Mm-hmm. Straight up beat them. Which was surprising at first until uh, until what happened after the match. I'm like, oh, right, we can't have four people there. I so see. they're in the ring mm-hmm. celebrating, mm-hmm. and out of nowhere... Which is scary to say. Like, fucking... kudos to the cameraman, yeah. because they just, like, they pan up Pop. from behind them, like, yeah. ah! And then they just crush them. Yes. Um, so War Raiders show up, just like, yeah. Like, row through mm-hmm. Kyle O'Reilly... Mm-hmm. Like he was a pizza pie. Yes. Into the sky. <laughs> caught him, no Catches problem. Him and slam. Then him down. You don't get up from that. And then he fucking jumped through the ropes and mm-hmm. attacked. And then Hanson jumped through the ropes like he's a fucking member of 205 Live and <laughs> took out Roderick Strong and just left him laying. Yeah. So it's just like, just so you know. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, that's going to be the next takeover match. I think that's, they're calling their shot. I think. That's going to be I'm great. not sure, but I think. They're look, calling their shot. Look forward to that at War Games. Mm-hmm. If not in War Games, maybe. I would assume it's in War Games. I think it'll be War Raiders and another tag team. And then maybe they'll finally debut Ooh. the new... The, the no. Thing. Ooh. No. Ooh. Maybe like Mustache Mountain and War Raiders versus the Undisputed Era. I could see that. Just saying. If you want to yeah. throw a fifth guy in there, maybe the guy who uh, debuted very next yeah. after this match uh, mm-hmm. coming up, and you can throw in... Mm. Pete Dunn. Yeah. So pretty strong side on the War yeah. Raiders versus Undisputed Era and well we'll get to it. Mm. Velveteen Dream mm-hmm. with his tights saying call me up Vince. <laughs> you got a pair 
Forget brass ring. You got brass <laughs> balls. fucking balls. Um, and he was wiggling his butt, too. Yep. I'm like, you put Vince McName's... Vince you put Vince, well, Vince McMahon's name on your ass if you, and if you wiggled believe, it. <laughs> if you believe Triple H, he didn't call... He wasn't talking to Vince McMahon. Yeah. No, he was saying that uh, he had a friend named Vince. Lost his number. Wanted to make sure that uh, Vince made sure he called him. Yeah. He's just like, because he's just like, you know what? You can get a lot of calls from Vince McMahon. Some you like, yeah. Some you don't. Yeah. So you better tread lightly, there, young young man. But in all fairness, in in reality, of course, somebody from the office fucking saw those tights before he put them on. There's no way he was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw this on my tights. I would love fine. that if he just yeah. had another pair of tights that he was showing all week. Going, yeah, these yeah. are gonna be my tights. And then he just randomly pops out. And then with just that. randomly shows up with like these on. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna oh. What are you... You're not going to stop him in Gorilla and just go, no, you got to put new pants on. Yeah. No, they would stop him in Gorilla if anyone was pissed about that. If he knew that Vince was... Because the old man's not there. It's NXT. The the old man didn't even... He he doesn't even know that those tights existed. I can guarantee that. Oh, no. Somebody probably told him. Unless Triple H probably was just like, you believe what this fucking kid did? Um, Although, if Vince McMahon is to be believed, as the crazy person that he is, Mm -hmm. he probably thought... That oh, he would have loved great. it. He would have fucking like loved it. Fucking balls on this ah, kid. Ah, I love this kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. He seems like the type of guy that was oh, like, you Vince, want the brass ring? Yeah. That's what you do. Oh, trust me. <laughs> Vince, if he's even heard of Velveteen Dream, which I would assume by now he has, he'd probably be like, wait, so this kid is like fucking 300 feet tall, lanky as fuck, muscular, we made him, and he's got the guts to do that? Hi, I fucking love him. <laughs> give him to me. I know what to do with a kid like give me, that. Give me some. <laughs> yeah. Call him right yeah, now. I'm going to call him. He probably called him personally. Too. I'm sure he did. Um. Yeah, him and EC3. Again, it was a good match, but yeah. I think because of the previous match, mm-hmm. it kind of suffered. It kind of failed. I mean... Not failed. No, I mean, but failed in as much as it couldn't live up. Like, it was a good match. Yeah. It wasn't great. No, it was a good match. I, I Honestly, I thought I mean, that the... the ending was... Woof. Yeah, well... Um, but I, I think the... Sort of the the storyline of the two of these guys facing each other was better than the match could have been. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like them, like all the the facial expressions, you know, and the just the weird shit both of them kind of do with their own characters was more important than the actual physical match itself. Because the match itself was pretty by the numbers, pretty I mean, good, but still, like, yeah, no offense to them, but anyone could have kind of done it. Um... But everything else in it was fantastic. Uh, match ended with a Death Valley driver. Yes. The Dream Valley driver. Dream Valley driver. On the fucking apron. There's a lot of apron stuff this week. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he hit a purple Rainmaker elbow. <sighs> yes, he did. Whilst EC3 was on the apron. Yes, he did. And then he rolled him in the ring and actually won the match. Yes. Um, which was surprising that he won I mean, the match. Velveteen Dream has not... This is his first takeover win, which I'm surprised nobody seemed to mention. Um... Didn't he beat Cash Sono? He beat Cash Sono. Did he? Yeah. You he sure? Beat, yeah, he beat Cash Sono. Mm. I wouldn't have expected that. Well, Cash Sono. Mm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Nothing against the guy, but you know. No, but that's what he's there for. Um, yeah, I was... I was. Um, I, I never want to see the, the, the Purple Rainmake done that way again. No. Um, can we not do that? Because, no. ow. Um, but other than that, you know, I enjoyed the shit out of it. I thought it was great. Uh, and then, like I said, I was going to mention the whole mm. War Games thing. It mm-hmm. could be War Raiders and British Strong Style versus yes. Undisputed Era. Mm-hmm. And quite possibly Matt Riddle. Who knows? Yeah, because that guy's he, there I now. mean, he fits in. Yeah. Uh, I could be. That's just me fantasy booking. Mm. Um, but yeah, Matt Riddle showed up. He got a bro chant going. It was cool. Mm-hmm. So he's there, officially. Sweet. Always great. I just, like, they really mm. can just get anyone. Yeah. For the most part. For the Within reason. I mean, I wish I had it queued up, but I could literally just play Million Dollar Man's theme right now. Money, 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 you know money, what? money. Nine How times, the hell out, else of, is nine times out of ten, yes. Yeah. But I'm saying within reason. Like, Keith Lee and Matt Riddle are big names mm-hmm. on the indies. Sure. Like, on the indie indies, your yeah. PWGs, your yeah. whatnot. They're not. There's a next level of indie. Yeah. Like your Bucks, like your Kenny Omega, yeah, like your Will Ospreay, that yeah. you're just not going to get. Unless you, you say that, unless you really unless deal you, out the, the, the you, you back up two Brinks yeah. trucks to their house, like as you know, basically at this point you could literally say it's it's Young Bucks and Kenny Omega money because they're going to be the biggest ones. You know what I mean? Like 
you know, and everyone would probably be like, oh, AJ, AJ. I don't think that they paid AJ that ridiculous amount of money. I think they gave him a damn good contract, I'm sure, because AJ Styles well, is were paying name. Him, uh, like mm. double or triple what he was making in TNA. Sure. But that's just because they have but the money. But that's probably and they don't. not that difficult to do. But, like, the thing about AJ was probably more so they were offering him security. Being like, hey, come work here. You know, you can work less dates. You can do this. You can do this. Giving him the moon, basically, as opposed to money. You know, and also, like, you know, we're a real company, in case you didn't know. Like, we, you know, we'll take care of you, all this kind of shit. So, I think that's the thing. Yeah. Right? And AJ, so, uh, super big family man, mm-hmm. has the sh- match and SummerSlam yeah. proved that. Exactly. He wasn't going to go yeah. to and fro from Japan. No. No. He so was, he was he, not, I guarantee you, he wasn't hard to woo over. So, yeah, um, you're going to get your Matt Riddles. You're going to get your sure. Keith Lees. Because if they're not Young Bucks and Omega, they don't really... I mean, they do have a choice, but this is a definitely a better option. Just money-wise. You know I mean? Yeah. Um, speaking of indie darlings... Yes. Ricochet. Yes, that guy. And Adam Cole. Bebe. Uh, Fighting for the North American title up next. Mm-hmm. It, yeah, the Morello was right. Mm-hmm. The Ricochet's cheat code. Yeah. Yeah. The things that that guy can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's... Like, he's, he's, he his... hit a fucking running Huracrano when... Cole was on the <laughs> yeah. apron. That's not okay. Um, like, he yeah. pole vaulted the ring ropes. Yeah. Attached himself and mm-hmm. then flipped out and got Cole. I mean, Cole also, that fucking backwards mm. moonsault. Yeah. Getting um, kicked in the face. Like, oh, Ricochet God. went that for was, a backwards moonsault and whilst in ugly. the middle of the moonsault got his oh, face kicked in. That was, oh, God, that was uh, ugly in the best possible way. Like, pinpoint. Yeah. Um... And, like I said, it was unfortunate that the Velveteen Dream EC3 match was basically a cooler, but that's basically what it was. I mean, in all fairness, that was kind of... That was literally how this show was set up. And it's not to say that any of the matches were bad, because they certainly weren't, but, you know, the the Dream EC3 was a cooler for this match. And the next match was kind of a cooler for the final match as well. Yeah. You know, not to say that, and they're, you know, to take anything away from the matches at all, but it's just kind of how it was booked, and... It's a shame to think, but it was. Uh, Ricochet actually, surprisingly, wins the match, becomes North America champion. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I'm I'm assuming this isn't over between him and Cole. No, no, no. There this will be a gonna, second yeah, match. Yeah, they'll definitely... I mean, they know what they have with these two together, clearly, as they saw. So I guarantee you, yeah, in that war game, somehow this is this is coming to a head. Um, they'll, be, they'll be back at it. Uh, match number four for the women's title. Kari yeah. Singh mm-hmm. taking on Shayna Baszler. Mm-hmm. Uh Another another good match, nothing yeah, great. No. Um, but I mean, again, that's not knocking it. No, not at all. But again, it's it's one of those things where it's it's um, managed expectations because you've got to a point where, like you know, like the first one, uh, undisputed era and Mustache Mountain fucking tore the house down. So Dream and EC3, as good as it was, just lower on the totem pole. And it's the same thing here. Cole and Ricochet fucking tore the house down. So Baszler and Sane, great match, still kind of just fallen below just because. You had too much to live up to. And just like in the previous match, another, mm-hmm. uh, not surprise win, but like, yeah. oh, Kari Sane actually got the win. Yeah. Um, by beating Shayna Baszler the only way you can beat Shayna Baszler, mm-hmm. by getting into <laughs> her clutches, yep. and then rolling her up. That's pretty much it, yeah. She basically eked out a win, as they say. Um, it was hard hitting, though. No, definitely. Oh, like, yeah. that last insane elbow that yeah. she didn't hit. She put some stank on be, it. Well, that, not just that, she but the one that to. she missed. Yeah. Because she, they, the, uh, the counter where she mm. got her feet up, when mm-hmm. Shannon got her feet up and kicked her arm away. Yeah. That had to hurt. And just the saying. whole turning the feet, manipulate, yeah. oh. It's, like, you can tell that they both know how to fucking manipulate some and shit. And the actual raw emotion. Yeah. That came over Carter. Because she, she, she literally collapsed yeah. in the ring out yeah. of just sheer emotion of being a champion. That And that's, I mean, that's crazy, because she's been a champion in a lot of places. But getting this title, holy shit, like... I don't know. Crazy, though. Either, either she's really, really, like, fucking, you know, I finally made it, or she's the world's greatest actor and give her an Oscar now, but um. she fucking felt this. And if there's going to be another match, I don't think there will be, no. because according to the dirt sheets, and even, I think it was even cooperated by Uncle Dave himself, mm-hmm. uh, people like Shayna and EC3 are getting called up real soon. I mean... Baszler, I understand, because I think, you know, because, again, the whole Ronda thing, I think they want to kind of start insulating Ronda and 
you know, having like having Baszler with Ronda in any way, shape, or form is going to do nothing but help both of them. Well, you need to call up Shayna because yeah, she needs to be there mm-hmm. with Ronda. She's yeah. ready. Yeah, she's she's got it. She's, she's fine. Let's and do that. EC three went through yeah. WWE light. Yeah, like it, when you've uh, gone through TNA. TNA.